doesn't feel like we've been on here for only seven days or eight days, you know. I loved coming here with a clean slate. We all let go of our family, we let go of our relationships, we let go of our homeschool, our social group, our eating habits, our hobbies, all of that. Mm -hmm. And we're just sort of forced to make it work. My dad actually did the voyage in 1966. His brother did it in 1968 and met his current wife on it. And I've got a whole family that goes back with Semester at Sea. <laughs> I was sort of in a place in my life where I was figuring out what to do. As a person who has been so fortunate in my lifetime, I feel like I have a responsibility and a desire to give back. I feel like this is my way of informing myself about what's out there. And I got so caught up in my little Southern California bubble and um, I wanted to get out and I really had no expectations, which I think is the perfect mindset to come into this with because I didn't know what to expect. To be completely honest, I knew absolutely nothing about Sevilla. It was more than I would have ever expected. Romans in the first century. This is the highest point in the in downtown area. I absolutely loved our tour guide. I mean, I think he was so knowledgeable, and I think it's so wonderful that we have the opportunity to learn all of these things about the place and culture. Especially, I'm from Southern California, Los Angeles. We're so narrow-minded, focusing on what we want, what problems we have, our health, our body, our cars, our things. It's all very, like, selfish, actually. And I think it's so important to look up and, and just, like, wonder, ask questions. I think it's so important to get out of your bubble.